slam it. Ugh, I let a penguin fart in my face. Oh my god. Guys, I'm so excited. We are in Hyogo Prefecture today. So much food that we're gonna eat, so many places that we're gonna see. We're going to three different cities. Ash is somewhere around here. Well, hello. Have you seen a white man with a red beard? <laughs> Never mind. We're gonna actually look around for a little while before. I keep getting distracted by these trains. Checking into the hotel. So we are in Kobe first. I've actually always wanted to go to Kobe, but I've never had a chance. It's literally a 20, 20 minute, minute train, train from Osaka. Like the perfect day trip. I'm so glad I'm here. I've gotten so many food recommendations about Kobe, so I'm kind of excited. I got a lot of eating to do. We're actually not here that long. After this, we're gonna go to a different city. And then after that, we're gonna go to a different city. Just trying to see like as much as possible in this short amount of time. I am currently on a mission to buy and renovate an old Japanese style home. To cut down on costs, I'm trying to do some of these renovations myself, so I could not miss the chance to come to the only museum that's dedicated to carpentry tools in Japan. The building itself is worth the visit. It is so beautiful over here. I wish my house looked like this. Oh, that's what I was talking about. This model is over a thousand years old and it's a great example of how they're building things without nails so everything's just like pieced together. The many joints you can see, the principle is very simple. Only putting on, but very sturdy. <laughs> This wooden sliding door is probably my favorite thing so far. You have to see it up close. There's so many details made entirely of wood. Like who has this kind of skill? This blade is so sharp that it can make wood look like a piece of paper. It actually kind of looks like tissue. Cypress. No, no, no. You can actually smell it. Yeah. Look how thin this is. Motomachi. This area is like a huge shopping area. It's a shoten guy. Lots of different stuff to buy. I don't actually need to buy anything, but I wanted to like look around because it's it's like super famous. It's kind of cool. Ash looked like he needs some new shoes. I've been needing new shoes. What are those? They're called my sandals. <laughs> what are those? They're called my sandals. <laughs> So the area back there was Motomachi Shopping Street. We just turned on one of these little side alleys. I'm trying to find Chinatown. One of the super famous things to do in Kobe is go to Chinatown. I think it's called Nan Nanking Machi? Nanking Machi. Nanking Machi. I think it's one of three of the biggest Chinatowns in Japan. There's the one in Yokohama and one in Nagasaki. Oh, I think you found Chinatown. <laughs> They have two festivals, one in January and February, another one I think in like October or something. So we just so happen to be here at the perfect time. So it's a little bit more crowded than normal. This place is the place you come if you want to eat. They have food stalls everywhere. There's so many different things to try. Is that a panda dumpling? Oh yeah. Oh, 
I got a shooting game. This is harder than it looks. I need five, but I only have three. Oh, little animals on it. At least I won something. What did I win? Is it candy? It's a vibe right now. The most important part of my day, visiting a cafe. Awful. You're one of the worst singers I've ever heard in my life. It's, it's bizarre. All right, you probably can't tell. Shoot, I couldn't even tell. There are a whole bunch of hidden cafes all in this area. I know I always say, like, I'm not much of a sweets fan, but it's not that I dislike sweets. It's just, if I had to choose between the two, I'd pick salty over sweet. Comment down below if you team sweets or team salty. But don't put a hashtag because YouTube likes to block those for some odd reason, and I won't ever see it. When it comes to sweets, cheesecake is definitely my top three favorite. I'm so excited. I've had this cafe saved for a while now. They have this super delicious looking rare cheesecake that I cannot wait to try. Okay, you know it's good when there's a line out the door. What? There's something in the middle. Is that butter or potato? Uh, it looks like potato. How can bread be this good? Bread should be this good. All right, Ash got the quiche set. Comes with bread, soup, the quiche. Looks like potato salad and this bomb strawberry salad. You know it's good when it jiggles. Oh, his face, his face. Why is this quiche so good? Let's try this one. Feed me. <laughs> right? Potato salad you can put a fork in. Japan, this is how you do it. This is how we do it. Somebody's black grandma is back there cooking. I had to go to the Zymos. That was a cafe and bar anthem, y'all. The quality, yo, that was so good. Everything tasted next level fresh. Ash's mouth was open the whole time. Food was falling out. That was great. That's why you don't have a channel. Ooh, look at that one. Wow. This street is way too cute. I just found the dopest store ever. We had to stop. <gasps> We just found a million things and I just know I'm walking out of here with something. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know I love me a wooden bowl. I asked you guys in one of my last videos, what do you call those things that you put plants in? And most of you guys said pots. But if I say pot, wouldn't you be thinking like kitchen? Whatever. Anyways, I saw some pots. Look at this. I don't want to carry this though. Look at this one, Ash. That was my second option. I'm kind of in love with this. That one. Oh, this one's so cute too. Don't you think this one would match the new house better? Mm, no. It's hard. Yeah, you guys gotta come on the street. There are so many shops. If it seems like there's nothing, look up. They're just like hidden and sandwiched in between all kind of little things. Right, this place is called Origin, I just asked. Look at this adorable face I just got. <sighs> she said it's made from a mango tree. Isn't this dope? Got my souvenir. Wait, this just looks like a normal street, like there's nothing, but then you see these long queues of people. They're actually waiting for one of the cafes. It has that orange roof, even though it looks like there's nothing. I think the trick to Kobe is just look for the lines. See, this is what I'm talking about, about the street. Oh, my hair. Girl, what's happening? You can't even tell that there's shops inside of this building. This place is famous for a bunch of handmade goodies, so you can get all kind of accessories. I think this would be a really great place to get a souvenir. I saw a sign with cats on it, so we're going upstairs. This place is huge. The details for me. If I knew a dentist, I'd buy them. A bunch of food, keychain. Are those hedgehog earrings? Lily. This is so beautiful. Even though I just had cheesecake, this is like a super famous cake shop, so I just had to come here and at least like look. We're gonna get something and then I think we're gonna go to the park and eat it. I could not turn down buying something like two. You had to get two, girl. We just walked and we hit the pier. Now I feel like I'm in Kobe.
found the perfect spot. Gonna sit down and have this cake with this perfect meal. Now you look at your fingers. It was very good. There was grapefruit in the middle. Actually upstairs, look how dope that is. This is a bar. So this is the Toop Toop Mart food hall. Toop Toop. It's fun to say. This girl was drinking this really pretty drink. I asked her what it was. She said it was a kiwi kiwi. It's so cute. is so dope. So they're like mixing art and an aquarium. This is the one that was right above the bar. This is the coolest place I've ever been to. Look at the floor. attraction where you can put your face up to the penguin's butt and smell him fart. I'm not even joking. I'm not joking. Only in Japan. I just let a penguin fart in my face. <laughs> Why? Yo, come smell a fart from a penguin. Like, only in Japan. At the end, up on the fourth floor, you can come out to the rooftop and they have a little cafe. There's coffee bars, there's penguins, and it is beautiful. Our timing is perfect. Look at this. Gotta get these for Layla. Capybara paw treats. This whole cart reserved just for women. That's so strange. I've seen these in Tokyo, but usually it's in the morning because it's like so crowded, but that cart for women is all day. <laughs> Okay, this is so cool. Oh, shut up. I just pressed a button and the curtain started moving. All right, we just checked in. I gotta give y'all the tour. It's nighttime. Usually I do the tours in the morning. I don't know if you can tell how massive this room is, but it's huge. Full coffee station section. I got one of those little pod machines. Yeah. Like, isn't this so nice? Simi walk-in closet. Look at this space. Sheesh. Oh, you know what? This is like conventions. Why are you on the floor? I'm out of the way. This room is amazing. And then over here, dining area. A little dinner and a movie. You know I love pajamas. <laughs> wow. Look, you have your own sink. Nasty beard hairs. That is a lot of amenities. Wow. All right, most important room of the place. Yes. Oh! Why did the toilet just greet me? Oh, I love it. There's too many buttons. I just want to press all of them. I don't, I don't belong in here. You can turn up in the tub. Oh, Ash, they got disco lights in the tub. Yeah. It's a vibe in here. Even the, like the little stool that you sit on is a vibe. 
Oh, it's gonna be the best shower you ever take, and it has a room. What is going on? Right? Wait, there's more buttons? Actually gonna go get dinner in a little bit. I feel like I need to freshen up. I can't wear a beanie to dinner, can I? You can't come to Kobe and not have Kobe beef, right? We're going to one of the restaurants that's in this hotel. So this is my first Kobe beef. I'm excited, a little too excited actually. I've been dreaming about this since I left my house. Like you ever wake up thinking about dinner? Next stop on the agenda, what I would later refer to as one of the greatest food experiences of my life. So there is a teppanyaki restaurant in the Kobe Portopia Hotel that's called Tajima. Obviously, you have to try Kobe beef if you come to this city. They have a highly rated teppanyaki style Kobe beef dinner course. I was advised by countless people to make sure to try it from a reputable source in order to get the full experience. You know it's gonna be good when they prepare you with an apron. I'm a huge foodie. There is nothing more important to me during a trip. It's funny because I won't buy myself designer bags or shoes, but I don't even think twice about dropping the same amount of cash on food. I don't know, but if you're a foodie like me, this place is a must. Our chef was a very creative, innovative man. So I was like wondering and asking like, what make Kobe beef so special? And basically, if the cow did not come from here, it ain't Kobe beef. So we started off with an assortment of delicious appetizers, a salad and soup, all using locally sourced fresh ingredients, like down to the pepper. This was like a uh, burdock? Oh, burdock. I was right. This is so good. I don't think burdock's supposed to taste this good. No. <laughs> Chef here, he like has all of these ideas and he likes to experiment and make new things. He has a fried tofu dish that he is testing out right now, so we're lucky enough to get to try it. He calls it melted fried tofu. So the meat is served unseasoned. Yes, it is that good. And the chef instructed us on how and when to use which condiments. It was a lot of fun experimenting and mixing different things together. This is fresh black pepper. First cool baby ever. I could not wait to try the chef's special garlic rice that was cooked in a kettle on the grill. It's made in a method that I've never seen before. was so full, but we still had dessert. <laughs> Guys, if there's anything I cannot do is gas up food that don't taste good. Hands down, that was the best meal I've ever had. Ash, what do you rate that food? Um, 14,000 out of 10. I've never even tasted fresh pepper in my life. I didn't even know it existed. Out of everything I've ever showed you on my channel, this is the one thing you have to do. I'm not joking. Like, honestly, just that one restaurant just put Kobe on the map. They have the most amazing rooftop bar. So this season, they're actually closed from January 1st until the end of February. Y'all gotta come out here. It is the best view. I actually wanna come here in the daytime because this is insane. You can see all the way to Osaka from here.
Alright, so it's a new day. We are saying goodbye to Kobe. We're headed to Awaji Island. I'm just getting ready now, but it's raining, so I don't think I'm gonna do much to my hair because I know it's gonna be gone by the time I walk outside. Usually I don't eat this early, but as impressive as Dare was, I just feel like I have to go to breakfast. They have a very impressive looking breakfast buffet, so I'm kind of excited. I'm not even hungry, but I'm excited and I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> Their breakfast is famous for this dish here. That's like roast beef, different variations of pickles. I believe that's pickled plum, wasabi. And then I don't really eat much in the morning, so I tried to like be a little bit healthy, but I couldn't avoid the Western section. So I got bacon, eggs, hash brown, and a sausage. Neither could I. What is going on over there? Couldn't avoid the Western section. Is that five pieces of bacon on toast with cheese and some other kind of meat? And French toast? Delicious miso soup. I'd be for rice. And a variation of fish and pickles and some green juice. Breakfast, beautiful, yes, but oh my gosh, this view. I wish it wasn't raining today. What floor are we on? 30th. Just arrived on the island. We're going to this place called Parche no Oka. Basically, we can make our own perfume. I'm really excited. I found this cute little cafe right next door. It's like a greenhouse. I'm so happy because when I was like Googling, there's literally no, like Starbucks stops as soon as you cross the bridge to get onto this island. And then right outside, she has an herb shop. We are like serious grannies. Not just perfume, you can make incense as well. And they have incense and candles for sale. Guys, did I not just find the best candle ever invented on this planet? I am so excited. I feel like I have to buy 20 of these. This is gonna smell like ramen? Does smell like shrimp ramen. Also really good for to protect everything from virus. Ooh, anti-aging too? I like it. This I'm is chasing. <laughs> I'm chasing. <laughs> like. Ash, you need a few drops of this. I'm I'm ever. <laughs> this is so cool. So we have top notes, middle notes, and best notes. This one lasts the longest, like half a day. This is like 30 minutes to two hours, three to four hours. I'm excited. So I get to mix three, three, and three. I don't know which one they was talking about Jesus, but we gonna go with Jesus. Frankincense, Holly. A lot of Jesus. Can we just, just do this one? Maybe some lemon. I got bergamot. This is for people who are sick to help you to feel good. Lemon and tea tree, both good for like viruses and your health. Everything is health related on this side. Then I got clary, clary sage. You gonna help me with this pronunciation? I don't know, clary. This one is good for women in every way, like especially estrogen. And then I got lemongrass and lavender. Viruses in health? Mm -hmm. And keeping the bugs away. Lavender. Oh, yeah, that's right. You need that. And then lavender. It's good for your skin and to help you sleep. And spiders. Keep oh. spiders away. And keeps the spiders away. Most Do important. <laughs> right? For the green one, the best note. Even though it is the best, all we need, we just need God. So we only do in this frankincense. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love her. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Here is my finished product. Thank you for helping. Arigatou gozaimasu. I had a wonderful time. Oh, me too. You're the best. I made a friend. I miss you. I miss you already. I miss you. I'll come back. Yeah. We'll I come like back. <laughs> Guys, I just thought I was doing something a little different, you know. You know, being ash like nature and plants, and why not go to the herb garden and make your own perfume? That was the funnest thing. That should not have been that fun. And I found a ramen candle. This is why you gotta go out and just experience stuff. You just gotta try stuff. You never know. I feel like all the random off the beaten path stuff that we've done has always been the best. And Pretty Masami was hilarious. Oh yeah, if you come here, you gotta ask for Pretty Masami. Don't lead a pretty out. My first name's Pretty Masami. I'm just kidding, I gave it to her. Anyways, we are off to the next spot. This island has this like really cool strong picking spot and you can do a picnic so that's where we're gonna go and uh, get lunch I was worried it was gonna be too cold but everything's covered and looks warm inside also I see a goat oh, 
here is a green aluminum in Awaji Island. This is the fifth year. You can see the uh, tomato greenhouse, restaurant, customer can enjoy. Tomato picking also coming. Yeah. There's many types of the tomatoes. Big one, small one. Do you like tomato? Oh, I have many tomato plants. Oh, okay. Please taste it. Very mm. special, very sweet. <laughs> I imagine if I make a tomato pasta and eat beside the tomato, tomato. is more delicious to eat it. <laughs> Thank this you. Is our tomato. <laughs> I want that on, uh, on crackers. If tomatoes taste that good, I would just eat tomato sandwiches. You know when like the food never looks like the picture? Not this time. I don't even want to give you a bite. So everyone I know is like, we live in Tokyo because we have everything. Yeah, Hiroshima has okonomiyaki and Hokkaido has seafood and blah, 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 but we have everything. Yeah, but it don't taste like this. So what? Bruh. I don't think Tokyo is the spot, y'all. I think they've been lying to us. Tokyo relies on location or relies on just looking good or relies on some gimmick that comes with the food. So. I mean, they're specifically growing tomatoes to make this dish. That's um, variety is a brandy. Lenny, I yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, looks carbonara, but uh, the very tomato taste. Mm. Uh, because we want to make this pasta, so we try to make this tomato. <gasps> you know it's good when... You know what? Comment down below. Y'all give this video a like so I can just go on like a, a full Japan food tour. Each prefecture trying to best dip. There's so much good food out there to be had. To be had. I feel like I need a grammar course before I start any kind of tours. So this place is famous for strawberries. So we had to get something strawberry even though we're gonna go strawberry picking a little while. Do I look like the Black Little Red Riding Hood? Okay, so they have five different variations. You get to pick them yourself. You have like a little basket and scissors. This is the picking side. Picnic and, and picking. picking. They also have coffee that you could make yourself. Like you get to like grind the beans. And they also have like some pastries and different little cakes and stuff. Cake. Oh, you got to go down. Please decorate yourself. Hey! I don't want to feel this. Because it feels like it makes you wrong. Got me on the ceiling. It's so beautiful and it's covered and it's like so comfortable. It's literally freezing outside. We adjust the temperature for the strawberries. That is good for the human. <laughs> I'm on the roof of the Hello Kitty Apple House. It is so cool because you have a view of Hello Kitty Showbox and they hold the Guinness Book of World Records for like the biggest character face. <laughs> also, side note, best apple pie ever. Was it a pie? It was it pie was, at the bottom. It was like a baked apple. It was, it was like delicious. a whole apple and then it had like custard in it. I couldn't even focus. Anyways, that was a lot of fun. I made Ash go up there and do great poses. Yeah, you got forced. So now we are off to a temple, but this is like a modern temple. It looks so dope. We made it. I feel like this is the prettiest toilet building I've ever seen. Is this thing on? This temple looks so cool. And there's this famous architect who built this part. It's made of concrete, and then the top is supposedly like water, and you can see and walk under it. It's I'm not I'm not good at explaining stuff. I'm just gonna have to show y'all. Probably why I got a channel. Yeah, I don't write books. This is so cool. So this is what I was talking about. Even with the gloomy weather, this is so amazing. You can walk underneath. So yeah, it's so different because everything's made all modern and this is all concrete. Whoa, that's dope. You can just walk right underneath this water. Let's see what the inside looks like, shall we?
this whole temple hidden inside of this concrete structure. You would never know. Finally, at the place we're staying at, it's a renovated old farmhouse. The best way you can tell is by the roof and like all the traditional beams that they left. It's so beautiful. day is over we're gonna go to himeji in the morning which i'm very excited for but yeah this island has been so great anyways i'm super tired uh, i gotta wake up early tomorrow so i'm gonna take a bath and go to bed early you know what this trip is missing ramen every single time we were trying to have ramen it was just not working out a lot of the places that i looked up were like super famous and had lines that were like hours long don't have time for that my body's like um what do you think you're doing do you think you're going to sleep no we haven't had ramen in like two days it's not a trip without ramen plus this gigantic beautiful kitchen can't possibly go to waste we have to cook something Black girl Korean ramen, traditional Japanese house. Very confusing. Tomorrow we are going to Himeji, which I'm very excited about because that's one of the like major castles that everyone has seen besides me. Look at the roof. It's nice. I'm getting all kind of renovation ideas. Your red jacket is so obnoxious. Why is it so bright? I'm not wondering a yellow beanie to bed. Listen, okay. It is cold. <laughs> I even got my wig on. It's only on for the warmth. I got two hats on. It's not that cold. I'm just dramatic. I'm from Kelly. <laughs> oh, I knew this view was gonna be great. Himeji. Time's flying, man. We're going to all these cities so fast. Super excited. We're starting off the day at a cafe. This cafe is called Cafe de Mouche. Almond butter toast? Yeah, almond toast. I have on this cute dress, and now it's just... It's cold. We just look like two puffs. We have just come to Mount Shosha. We're gonna go take the ropeway up and check out this temple. Is that a gotcha gotcha? That's actually dope, and so fitting for this place. So before you go on the hiking trail, they have these bamboo sticks here for people who need them to hike. I love this. I don't think I would survive living anywhere outside of California if I didn't have these. We 
We are on Mount Shosha, but this entire area, this is Engyoji Temple. I think one of the areas that we're gonna see is famous for the movie The Last Samurai. I guess Tom Cruise came here like as tourists. They saw this place and thought it was so cool and decided, oh, we have to film here. We just came up by ropeway, but he came by helicopter. I feel kind of bad because I have not seen Last Samurai. I haven't seen the movie. I feel like if I saw it when I see the place, it'd be even cooler, but it's cool already without even knowing that there was a movie filmed here. Apparently, this is the souvenir to get here because Tom Cruise bought a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Look at the packaging. It's a cedar tree log. Finally, we made it up to the top of like the main area where the last samurai was shot. Y'all have to come here. Look at this. So this is where the Buddhists would train. can't see, but it started snowing, which is so beautiful. <laughs> I'm in one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen, and now it's snowing. And there's no people. Almost. Completely empty. Cool. I think that's Nami when she was young. They're still doing this whole 25th anniversary One Piece thing? It could be old. I'm literally on episode 900 and something. I don't think I've ever been that dedicated to anything more than I'm dedicated to One Piece. Hot vending machines in Japan are the greatest invention in the world. I still to this day am so shocked that America does not have this. Like just a little vending machine having hot drinks. Genius! This place is so beautiful. I do not want to leave. I, I just want to keep walking around. Instead of taking the bus, we're walking back. So beautiful. On your eyelash, you got some snow. Mm. Snow on your bugs. We are now getting lunch. I am so excited because it's one of my favorite foods, but slightly different. So in Tokyo, they have unagi, which is eel. And you see like a lot of those eels that come out like the square balls with rice. The eel is on top with the sauce glaze. This one's a little bit different. It's anago, which is still an eel, but a saltwater eel. Somehow the taste is different. We'll see, because I actually don't know if I've tried anago. I can't quite remember. Also, this one is half the calories than the other one. According to some random fact Ash just found, he said Japan consumes more than 70% of in the entire world. So many things, I don't even really know where to start. I'm guessing this is the eel. That was amazing and so much fun. Now we are finally off to the castle. <laughs> he was dancing. <laughs> You've been waiting for this castle. Finally to Himeji. I feel like that's like the number one thing everyone does, but it's literally the last thing we're doing. All right, we found a strange energy drink at the Kombini. Daruma! Can you explain what that is? What a daruma is? It's kind of like a good luck charm. You buy one and then you color in one eye. When you make a wish. And then sort of make a wish or a goal for the year. And then once you achieve the goal, color in the other eye. And then? And then during January or February, you take it to the same shrine. They'll 
make a big pile of them and burn them. You've probably seen like maybe photos on Instagram of people like big piles of burning heads that look like this. Yeah, it's so cool. It's one of the very few events me and Ash still have not been able to find and attend. We've been like trying to go to one of these for so long. They look so cool. Yeah, how's this energy drink? I don't even know what brand that is. It's that awful one. It's the one that's like a energy, digital power energy or something. I bought it because it's got a dunner in my face on it. Okay, Tastes like um, cream soda. Do you have cream soda Ew. in America? Oh like God. energy version of cream soda. Like it keeps randomly snowing. Can I just say this is the best brand of Hot Pockets I've ever had in my life? Hot, hot Pockets? pockets. <laughs> you can't eat them. A heat your pocket. It's hot in the pocket. No, I get it. Anyways, these Hot Pockets, this is the best brand. It's called Magma. Oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna lose an eyelash. Made it inside. Oh, I can't believe they built something that big with limited technology. Them, that same country technique from the right, yeah, like, no, you, no, no nails, no nails. I'm gonna be looking like a brown turtle all day because it's cold as heck. I don't even know how I have this hood on, but it, it's helping, anyways. This is the coolest ever. Right when you walk in, like, this is what you can see. There's the moat. Wow, it's really hard for you to like tell on camera, but this is the biggest thing I have ever seen in Japan. Just imagine, like, in spring, these are all cherry blossoms. This has got to be the most beautiful view ever. I have to come back in spring. I've seen a lot of white castles and I've never seen one this big and I'm like this has to be the biggest and I asked and yes apparently this is currently the biggest castle still remaining ah! the front right when you walk in it's the biggest gate this is gonna be awesome and the Sun came out Wow Nagoya castle is the biggest but that's a concrete castle because it was you know and it was rebuilt with concrete but this is the biggest real castle like it hasn't been rebuilt or anything like that ash I'm losing confidence in my outfit tell me I'm sexy Look good. Okay, good. This is how small the entrance is. So much of this castle was built in a way to deter the enemy from being able to come and attack. And yet, this is one of the castles that like never got attacked, so it's really interesting. I'm glad I climbed up all those stairs. This view is insane. Can you even see? Yeah, this view is definitely worth it. Being able to see the roof like with great detail, that's insane. Fish tiger. There's like a random shrine up here on the last floor. So apparently this was here before, but like in a different spot, but they're doing construction. So they moved it outside, but the construction workers started feeling sick and all kinds of stuff. So they thought it was like a bad juju and they put it back. So that's why it's up here. During all the wars, a lot of places got damaged besides this place. And they're like, it's probably because they put it back. That's what they believe. The whole place, that is beautiful. Wow. They even have a little platform where you can put your camera so you can get a shot. We're gonna take a photo together. the contrast. I mean, it was literally like five minutes ago. What? You can't even see the castle anymore. Yo, we gotta go. It went from sunny and beautiful to a sunny blizzard. There's no snow in here. It's not my hair. Protect it. Oh yeah, we got hooks. Sunday wouldn't do it with me. 